over the weekend, uh, there was a lot of emphasis on the border. Um, there were thousands of migrants coming up through Central America, uh, you know, trying to get into the U United States to, to try to apply for asylum status, try to be declared refugees, and um, looked like a very chaotic scene out there. Well, these people were viewed as invaders. Invaders, mm -hmm. yes, coming to destroy America, I believe, I guess. That, I mean, that's the, the common perception. Because, I mean, because that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, when you are, uh, you have, you're hell-bent on destroying a country, you make it public. <laughs> um, you make your trek to that country. Slowly. Slowly <laughs> and publicly. And publicly. You know what I'm saying? That's right. what you do when you want to invade a country. Right. Um, but, like you said, these are asylum seekers. Um, now, uh, many people in our country, um, specifically those of a particular political ideology, um, don't consider these people asylum seekers, or they don't consider uh, these people's actions uh, legal mm -hmm. um, as far as how they're going about trying to get into the United States. But is that true? Well, uh, no. Uh, well, if you're if you're talking about these asylum seekers. Yes. Uh, if they're trying to seek some type of protection from something, violence, uh, harms, in some in some sort of way, mm -hmm. um, they would have to go through a process. I think a that's process, a legal process. A legal process. They would have to do it the right way. The right way. Okay. All right. So maybe uh, I guess the best course of action would be to check what is the legal way to go about seeking asylum. Oh, you mean like uh, like check like a u.s government website yeah that'd be that'd be good okay yeah, yeah. we can uh, do that we can you do, do that right now yeah we can do it okay. yeah right. uh so this is uh this is straight from the united states citizenship and immigration services mm -hmm. a government website uh step one. Oh, that's the section arrive um, in the united states oh I, well, that, that's under the section that covers affirmative asylum process right yeah uh -huh. so the first step is arrive in the effing United States. Yep. I mean, it doesn't say effing, but I'm just saying. I you must be to... physically present in the United States. First, so, you have to so, be present in the United States. Right, yeah, right under that, and if I'm, he already took it off the screen, mm -hmm. but it says to apply for asylum in the United States, you must be physically present in the United States or seeking entry into the U.S. at a port of entry. A port of entry. A port that's of correct. entry. That's correct, that's correct. And so that's, I believe that's what these migrants are trying to do. They're trying to get... Because the, the port of entry was between Tijuana and San Diego. Uh, San Ysidro, I believe. Um, and so they were trying to not bypass ah, right. any like, of the border patrol so, agents. Oh, so not trying to sneak their so way So they weren't in. trying to sneak their way in. No, they no, were no. actually trying to go to a designated access point. That's correct. So when right-wingers and conservatives um, talk about these people aren't doing it the right way, they either misinformed or they're lying. Yeah, that's one of the two. They I, keep, don't, I don't think they're misinformed. Because they keep talking about the rule of law. The right? rule of law, that's correct. When they don't even know it. Yeah, I'm sure they do. <laughs> I'm sure they do. <laughs> but their followers do not. And that's, 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 the, so, that's the thing. So what you're saying is it has nothing to do with the law? No. Because technically... This has to do with promoting an invasion. Promoting an invasion of uh, a kind of uh, a lower class people. Yes. A, lower class a, a different people. type a of different people. A different type of people. Yeah. N not, not Americans. They're not Americans. But They're coming like, here to destroy the country. But whose side is the law actually on? The side of the law that... Oh, let's see. Like, you said, who's correct? He's <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a second. That's a trick question. I'm, you got me. So, who... Who, who's on the correct side of the law? Who is on the correct side of the law? I think, as it's written, it would be the migrants. All of the migrants that are trying to go about But that's right based way. on what, though? That's not based on, like, our rules. No, we, we didn't, we it's didn't not write, based on our rules. We just showed you the, the, we just showed you the graphic, that right? That was from the United that's States. That's a government, that's government, a government website. website. That's correct. That's the instructions. They set up the rules. They set up the rules. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And so, these, like I said, these thousands of migrants. Now... Once they, once they are here and once they are applying for asylum or to be considered a refugee or whatever, you, are all of them going to be given that status? No. And I don't think anybody is like saying, 
well, hey, let's open the door. Everybody come in. Like, this, this should be no process. You know, everybody should be this, declared, be declared a, a refugee is, or be this, given asylum. This is Everything. Not, this is not like an episode of watching Oprah's talk show where he's like, everyone gets in. No. Everyone no. gets citizenship. No. But what, what people are saying is that there should be a process and we should follow that process. Even the migrants are following that process. First of all, the tear gas is a very minor form of the tear gas itself. Uh, it's very safe. The ones that were suffering to a certain extent were the people that were putting it out there. But it's very safe. But you really say, why is a parent running up into an area where they know the tear gas is forming and it's going to be formed and they're running up with a child? And in some cases, you know, they're not the parents. These are people, they call them grabbers. They grab a child because they think they're going to have a certain, uh, they're going to have a certain status by having a child. You know, you have certain advantages in terms of our crazy laws. Trump says without any proof whatsoever that a lot of these kids are not even the children of these so-called parents. You know, you call them grabbers. They just Who grab calls them that? <laughs> He just made I've that. Never who, heard who, that. Who, 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 I've never who, heard that before. That? They call them grabbers. Sounds like a George Bush line. I can see. Them. They call them no. grabbers. <laughs> see, he, he's the grabber. See, he's the grabber. He's grabbers. The grabber. Again, with no evidence, no proof whatsoever that any of these migrants were not the parents of the children that they were with. No proof whatsoever. But hey, let's just go with, throw it out there so that you can sort of portray these people in a negative light. Be like, hey, see, they're trying to run a game on the United States. See, don't let them in. Don't let them in at all. It's ridiculous. Um, again, he talked about the very safe tear gas. Now, I've never heard of very safe tear gas before. Is that a new brand? A new, a new type of tear gas? Oh, it's very like, safe. Like some, like, uh, I don't know, like lavender scented <laughs> tear gas. Like, Hawaiian breeze scented tear gas. Well, something that would like be quite ineffective. <laughs> exactly. You know, like a peppermint bark uh, type tear gas. Right. You know, to where it uh, it creates a sense of relaxation amongst the people you were trying to use it against. Right. Oh, but then it wouldn't be serving. It wouldn't purpose. be effective. It wouldn't be effective way to uh, diffuse situations. No, no, if it wouldn't. It was mild it would have to be harsh yes and I've, that's I've, what tear gas is made to what, be to like sort of subdue somebody right to confuse subdue uh kind of enable disorient yeah. mm -hmm. right exactly so and that's exactly what happened <laughs> but this is very safe tear gas though very safe tear gas <laughs>